hello guys in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to create your cover cover for your amazon kdb and we are going to do it we're going to create cover for the interior notebook that we did in our previous video and if you have not watched that previous video i urge you to go and watch it i'll give the link in the description of this video so let's jump right then in the video so the first thing you have to do here if you want to create your paperback cover is to open your browser that's the first and foremost the first thing is to open your browser so you go to bookcow bookcow.com you open bookcow.com so you can see where they say kdb cover template generator which is this particular template you type on it we are going to be dealing with paperback not art cover so paperback is already checked so no need to check the art cover so and our previous notebook that we did was six by nine the width was six so if you are not if you have not watched that video i think you should go and watch that video because the, that video is very important it's six by nine the page count 100 we did 100 pages what type do, paper type what type do you want this thing to download i want cream you can put white if you want white so you put your email i put my email here and i put the same email i repeat the same email you check here to confirm the email then you send template then you come here where they say money is no money you you check this one that i say maybe later maybe next time please just email me the template you click on it which is this very one this very one that say email me you just click on it then you continue then i believe the email has been sent to you now We'll go to our email. We'll go to our email. The email that you input to, you go to your email. You can see, as you can see, book out our send us email. And this is our template. We have, they send us two different templates, two different files. One is PNG, while one is a PNG, one is a, a PDF. So we are, because we are using Canva in this video, so we are not going to make be making use of the PNG. We are going to be making use of the PNG, not the PDF file, sorry. So we we'll download this very particular one that is PNG. Click on download. It's already downloading. He has download. This is the template. He has downloaded to my picture so what we are going to do here now is to go to canva which we are going to use to make the design you go to canva canva is a platform that is free so anybody can just go put your email and register and there's a free version also a pay version but you can use free version to do everything i'm doing right now you don't have to pay so you come to this plus sign this particular plus sign here and you click on it you click on this plus sign click on customize this customize that you are seeing you click on it you put this ps for inches because we are working with inches you put it is inches then for the width and the height for the book will be determined by the template that we download and not the book remember the book was six by nine but the template is going to determine the the width and the height so you go to your template now when you come to your template you zoom this is the dimension here as you can see this dimension is what you need to work with so that it will be accepted when you upload it on amazon kdb if you use 6 by 9 to be rejected 
mind it will be rejected but if you use this one which is 12 this is this is what you should use 12.500 by 9.250 as you can see it here so 12.500 10 point what? 12 point five zero zero five zero zero. That is for this one. Why this is nine point what? Nine point nine point two five zero point two five zero. This is what we need to design this template. Twelve point five zero zero. For the width the height is 29.250 then you click on design so that it will bring bring out the layer of the so this is our workspace this is the space in which we are going to work with so the first thing you need to do here is to import what you downloaded into canva so we click here this is your workspace now so you, you click on the plus sign and you click on the upload here there's upload here down here you click on the upload you go to your file As you can see, this is our recent upload. You can find it 6 by 9 book that we downloaded. So you click on it. As you can see, it's loading. As you can see here, it's loading. Once it's done loading, you will not see this blue thing again. Yeah, it's done loading. So you can just tap on it, it will enter your workspace. So the, the, the next thing you have to do here is to take it down by the side like this and this up, drag this up, this up here to the end where you know it has covered the workspace. So once you are done with this, tap on it. Once you are done with it, tap on it and lock it. Lock this particular template. You can just lock it. If you press on the lock, you lock it. If you want to open it, at this key here, you can just tap on it and open it also. So for my own, I used to lock it so that it will not, I will not make mistakes to shift it. So the next step that you are going to do here is to click on the plus sign again. Go to element. Click on element. You can see different shape. You can see line, you can see everything. So you click on this square, this one that has square here. Click on this one. Then he has entered this place. Then expand it. Make sure it's co it covers the whole work. Expand this way. Expand this way. Expand this way. Make sure it covers. Don't allow it to extend the work. Just make sure it covers the work. This is what you need. So the next thing you will do here, once you have covered it like this, is to go to the transparency if you look under here there is transparency under click on the transparency take is 100 now take it back to any so that you'll be seeing your template inside your first template that you downloaded so that you'll be seeing it inside take it back this way and tap on it then 
click on the plus sign again click on the plus sign again bring out this square again this particular square tap on it again so when once you tap on this square again so what you have to do here is to extend it you know this is the bleed you have to extend it up to where the thing ends also Send it down to that's the first thing up and down then you adjust the side to where this bleed ends you can zoom the work so that you will see it big so that you will not make mistake on it as you can see now I take it to this place as you can see I take it to where the bleed ends as you can see it's covered where you can change this color as well you can come to this where there is color you can put it this you can put a different color any color that you can change the bleed you can change it so let's say we are using this color for the for this particular one then you now zoom it back then tap on this again and go back to transparency bring it back to 100 you can see our book is now coming out our book cover is now coming out let's say you want to design the because Let's say you want to design design the the book for that more. You know, this side now is the front, why this side is the back of the book. This side is the front, why this side is the back. Let's say you want to design the, the front more. So you click, you see, click on the plus sign. She come to this element. You find any design of your choice that you want to use to design more. Of anything you can search for here it will show you a lot of things that you can use to design this book cover we, there is a lot of design here if you click on the search bar and search anything that you want to search here you will see it but as the sake of this tutorial we are just going to find a random thing to just use so let's say we want to use this um, let's say we want to use um, okay let's say we want to use this particular one this particular flower here yeah. let's say we want to use this one for the for the front you can expand it let's say we want to use this particular one for the book or maybe we want to use this one for the back you can put it like this anyhow let let me just use it for the back okay let me change the color to make it look um, okay okay let's use the color for the bleed so to make this one it's, as you can see it's coming out this is the back let's say then you exit let's say you want to put something at the front to make it look professional and uh, very okay okay let's type on text text let's type on text there is different type of text there here that you can use let's use this particular one this one that is a spirit night As you can see, as this thing is, you can change anything here. You can delete any test here and leave the one you want. Let's say we have deleted all this. Okay, this one now we can we can change it to let's say bride. bride 
notebook bright notebook let's say we are going to do it this way bright notebook You can adjust it as as you want. Let's say we are going to use it like like this. We can see go and change the color of the text to match the book. We can use this particular color again so that the book will be in uniform. I uh, I guess you are following. So if you are not subscribed for this channel, please I urge you to do so because we are going to be posting everything that will benefit you in future or anything that will benefit you in positive way we are going to be posting it on this channel and you will not regret being part of this family so let's design the book further you see click on the plus sign and go to element let's use element let's find love click on the search bar and Right, love. Let's put it love. Let's search for love. Love symbol that we can use for this. Uh, okay, let's just say this very one. Let's use this very one for. Let's just say let's use this one. Okay. As you can see, the notebook has come out. So the next thing you have to do here now is to go and download this cover because you are done. Like this, you are done. You should be done. So you go to this place, this up, this very one, the one that is arrow up, you click on it. You go to download can see download here you go to download you go to P, this png that you are seeing here you click on it you are going to do pdf print that is the most acceptable one that amazon kdb accept you go to pdf print you click on pdf print then you download your paperback So guys, at this point, I think you are done with your paperback and you are ready to upload it on Amazon KDB. You have got your design. It has downloaded to my phone already. So as you can see, as you can see, this is our paperback. This is our paperback cover. As you can see, this is our paperback cover, which you can upload for your paperback place when you upload for Amazon KDB. So at this point, if you're not subscribed, just try, give us thumbs up so that you know, a lot of people and ask us any question on the, uh, and we are glad, we'll be glad to answer you. Thank you and goodbye.